<laughs> and he won't let me play with his Game Boy. No? Well, we'll talk to him. How you doing? Still on level one. Yeah? The water pump didn't come in. Well, you gotta talk to Harris, will you? I told him already. Well, then talk to him again. Well, okay. You changed your hair. He you shaved. Come on, Andy, help me with the bags. And you? Oh, you're a ton of bricks. Long flight, huh? Oh, it's exhausting. Yeah? Where do you live? We live right over there, honey. Mommy almost threw up on the plane. No kidding. 12.95? They fly him in from Greenland from a glacier. Oh, the water pump breaks and your prices go up. Coincidence, eh? You look better in a dress. Back in the poaching business. Not poaching unless I sell it. I'm just sending it to relatives. That's a lot of moose. Big family. You in on this? Just lend him the use of my freezer. There's no law against that. If I catch you selling this stuff. Hey, I got a side of meat. I might share some with my uh, best customers, but I ain't stupid enough to sell it. The moose burgers are on the house. If you want one. Coming in? This is it? You wanted a small town. Lisa, come on. Well, what do you think? It's great. Where are we going to sleep? You and Lisa are in here. Do I have to? Come on, honey, what's wrong? Eric, he's 12 years old. Don't you have another bedroom? Yeah, like, uh, what's wrong with that one? I'm gonna be sleeping in that room. And your father's gonna sleep downstairs. Make yourself at home. He's going. Thank you, sir. Got your haircut. Yeah. So it'd be easier for people to read over my shoulder. <laughs> Who's this Gabe Cooley? He's a guy from Wolverine Lake. Oh, yeah? What's he done? Sent moose meat to Yellowknife and claims it's for relatives. Put a tail on the cargo? Didn't you book off the weekend? Yeah, but if you need any help, just... I can handle it. Hi. You must be Lindy. I'm Michelle, Eric's partner. Hi. Uh, this is Lisa. And this is Andy. Andy. This is Andy. Hi. So, you guys hungry? Yeah. Great. How about you, Andy? Mmm. Come on, let's get some lunch. <laughs> Have fun. Here you go, the vegetarian special. Enjoy. Thanks. 
a funny color. It's been on a plane. Yeah. Well, at least they have mineral water. Put that down. Come on, Eddie, put that down. Hey. Hey, eat. Finished. Just leave him alone, okay? He's got to learn. Just leave him, okay? Honey, eat up. Ocean Killers 3, huh? You have to uh, swim under the current. What an expert try. Hey, how'd you do that? You have to shoot the swordfish, or else they'll explode. Yeah. Lisa, stop playing with your food and either eat that or either eat that. Hi. Hi. You must be Lindy. Welcome to Link's River. Lindy Olson, Peter Kennedy. Peter's a banjo. Oh, I, I, it's just I feel like I have my name tattooed on my forehead. <laughs> Larry's really been looking forward to you guys coming up here. So. Hmm. Well, why don't you drop by the office? I'd love to show you around. I'd like that, thanks. See ya. How's the burger? Excuse me, sir. Have you seen my son? Uh, no, I wasn't watching. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, thanks. Okay, care. see you later. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to introduce you in there. It's just kind of awkward. It's no problem. Who's that, your girlfriend? No, it's just a friend. Stay away from that kid. Why? Come on, let's go. You know what I do to little girls who take pillows? Huh? You know what I'm gonna do to you? <laughs> Damn. No water. You okay? Do I look okay? Daddy? Get ready for bed, honey. And what am I supposed to do now? Uh, well, I told you it was a dry towel. It's not funny. Put your head in the sink. Oh. Come on, Tom's water pump broke down a few days ago. We're trying to get a new one. Come on. Okay. Don't take a minute here. Okay. All right. Close your eyes. Okay. Yeah, it's freezing. Come on. Okay, one more. There you go. Oh, one more. You just want a little more some You should be the hairdresser. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you done? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to sleep downstairs. What's the problem, Andy? Lisa wheezes. She what? Uh, she has asthma. Since when? Since we moved to Saskatchewan. Excuse me. That's great.
License and registration, please. Got a problem, officer? Yeah, your left taillight. Get to act white. Get to throw your weight around. Tell us when to hunt and how. Oh, shut up. Here. What's this for? Seatbelt. Buckle up. And have a nice night. because Franklin had fallen fast asleep. One more story. Lisa. Okay. Okay. You still chewing that thing? No, I'm not. Besides, you gave it to me. Maybe that's what's giving you asthma. No, it's not. Daddy? Yes, honey? Could you come with me, please? Okay. Move over. Daddy? Yes, honey? Why did you move so far away? This is hard for you, but we've got to talk. Since when? You never answer my calls. Because I didn't want to do it on the phone. Mm. That's why I'm here now. I have to get this thing resolved. I really miss them. Well, then let's work it out. You can have them at Christmas, if you want. You can have them spring break, a month in the summer, any long weekend. And I'll arrange all the flights. You're, you're going to have to meet them in Yellowknife, though. That's not working it out. Eric. Working it out means we stay together. Eric, I want a divorce. Well, I don't. Well, it's not about what you want. Not anymore. It's, it's about me and the kids and what's good for us for a change. I'm talking about us. Me being up here is about us. For you, for the kids. You owe it to us to give it a chance. I don't owe you anything. Wake up. 
Morning. Morning. You ready for breakfast? Now? Now? Yeah, no. Let's go. Okay. What about cornflakes? That's all you ever eat when you cook breakfast. What about you, Andy? Coffee. Since when did you start drinking coffee? Ever since we moved to Saskatchewan. All right, pancakes it is. Why was a toaster pop? Because it's not plugged in. Daddy? Mm hmm. Are you going to go to Weyburn with us? Well, Daddy's got to work up here for a while, honey. Are you going to move up here? I sure hope so. Mommy, are we gonna move up here? Time for your medicine, honey. Right. Okay, thank you. Taking the kids for a ride. Great, have fun. How's the poaching case? You're on holidays. Just curious. Get this. The moose meat went to Yellowknife. Our guy staked out the airport. One of Gabe's cousins picked it up. That cousin took it to another cousin and parked the meat in his freezer. Then some other cousins turned by for a visit. Moose meat's all over Yellowknife. Not a dollar's changed hands. Great. Families. <laughs> Tell me about it. Don't smile, you might crack your face. Who wants to go for a snowmobile ride? Not you, Andy, you're too cool for that. Uh, Dad? Lisa can't, her asthma. Well, what am I gonna do? Well, maybe you and Mommy can go for a walk along the river. You might see a moose. A moose? Yeah, they help to keep the bears away. Bears? Why bother? Three good reasons. Jardia, dysentery, and cholera. Come on, these people have been drinking this water for years. Watch your step. Oh, hi. Oh, you must be Lindy. Hi. You're not the only person I haven't met well, I'm yet. I'm Harris Miller. I'm the band council manager. Huh. Hi there. Who are you? Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Careful. What are you doing? Well, until we get a new water pump, we have to drink the water from the river. So I'm going to make sure it's safe. My dad's the mountain. I know. How? You have his eyes. <laughs> Actually, uh, I think that I'm the last person you haven't met in Lynx River. I'm Sarah Burkett. Hi, I'm Indy Olson. Actually, I saw you outside the coffee shop uh, yesterday. You were talking to Eric? That's right. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, uh, why don't you and Eric come over to dinner tonight? Huh? You can come too, Sarah, if you want to. Um, I actually, I should talk to Eric about it. He might have other plans. So... Excuse me. See you later. Bye. So she goes soon, huh? Folks. So how's Weyburn? Rotten. How come? Don't know anybody. Here. Does your mom like it? Sure. She's got Bill. Who's Bill? Teacher. Lives across the street. He's always coming over for coffee. So anyway, when's lunch? What's this for? You're driving.
Poachers. Poachers aren't pretty. Where? What? A moose's leg was in the river, and Michelle said a poacher did it. Poacher. Okay, you two, time to get changed. Let's go. I really don't think those kids ought to be exposed to things like that, you know? Well, that's what people do up here, Lindy. You know, they hunt, they fish, they trap. Hey, you said you wanted a small town. over there. And I can tell you where it ends. Wolverine Lake. <laughs> it tickles my tongue. It means it's clean. Bathroom's free. Hey. <laughs> can you put me to bed? Only if I get ten hugs and ten kisses. That's too many. Okay, five hugs and five kisses. Okay. Okay. What's wrong with flowers? If you go out there again, I'll nail you to the wall. Wish can be a dangerous place. For a girl. So. So, is uh, your lawyer going to call my lawyer, or should my lawyer call your lawyer? Let's leave the lawyers out of it, OK? <sighs> I met the nurse today, the one you wouldn't introduce me to. <sighs> What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Nothing. She's pretty. to have a man around the house? I don't have a man around the house. I haven't had one of those for years. I have a friend. Come to think of it, I haven't had one of those for a long time either. And all it is is friendship. Until this is over. Sarah likes your eyes. I love you, Lindy. Eric, don't. I am up here in the middle of nowhere because I love you. I don't want to hear this right now, okay? I can't talk to you about divorce. I love you. Can't you give me another chance? We have to move on, both of us. Then why are you here? Kids. No. I mean right here. Right now.
breaths. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Good. Who the hell left the window open? I did. Why'd you do that? What's wrong? Jess, we're gonna have to bring you to a doctor. I'll call Sarah. Okay, put this on. It's okay, honey. It's all right. I'll get it. I need my blanket. Let me get it, honey. Let me get it. Here she is. Mommy's getting your blanket, honey. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. Okay, Eric, hold that. Okay. Just breathe. Just breathe. That's it, girl. What's that? Adrenaline. Is she going to be okay? I think so. She's responding. But if she doesn't, Eric, I want a medevac route to Yellowknife. I don't want to go to Yellowknife. It's okay, baby. It's all right. I think we should fly her out anyway. Why? Just to be safe. What if she has another attack? Well, why can't we keep her here? I mean, uh, she is going to be all right, right? Yeah, probably. Well, what if Lindy and I were to st stay the night? Sarah, please. Things are just starting to get better. They were to fly out now. How is she? Her blanket. She's stable. I think she should probably spend the night here. Are you sure that's going to be okay? Well, if there's any problem at all, I'm just upstairs, okay? I'm going to go sit up to bed. Excuse me. Thanks, Sarah. She's going to be all right. How many sides did you get this time? What? Gabe killed another moose yesterday. So? Ooh, I think she thinks you're part of the conspiracy. When's the shipment coming through? <laughs> How should I know? Wrong answer, Jer. Stay out of this, Harris. I got two words for you. Water pump. Can I talk to you? If Gabe Cooley comes around, you tell him that freezer is full. This thing with Cooley, it's got to stop. Don't tell me how to do my job. He's dangerous. Exactly. Whenever we start talking about our hunting rights, they point their finger at guys like Cooley. Our rights aren't written in stone, you know that. You gotta catch him in the act. Oh, and I'm not smart enough to do that? I'm not saying that. Not in so many words. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna spend the next three weeks in the bush. If I have to. Okay, in. And out. Again, in. And out. Clear as a bell. <sighs> That's terrific. That's great. Go on, honey. Get out of here. Look at, ooh. All right. I'll uh, go home and check on Andy. I'll see you at home, honey, okay? Daddy told Sarah to let me stay. What? Sarah's thinking about... Mm, mm, medevac. <clears throat> we didn't need the medevac. Your daughter was never in any danger. What's going on? Joe Gomba saw Gabe. He's got a moose pin in the bush this side of the rapids. I'm going after him. Moose hunting's not against the law. Michelle. Come on, Dad. Hang on. Michelle. I can take care of it, and you're on holiday. Yeah, Dad. OK, let's go. Finally. Hi, Daddy. 
Hi, honey. How's she feeling? Come on, Dad. Let's go. I better go talk to her. Jeez, I'd let her cool down. Upstairs and go lie down. I'm not tired. Well, then go upstairs and play, okay? What's the problem? You manipulating son of a bitch. What? Since when do you and your girlfriend know what's best for my daughter, huh? What the hell are you talking about? What if she had other complications? What if, what if she had a relapse? What if she had another attack? She didn't, Lindy. And if there was any real danger of that happening, we would have called in the medevac. Yeah, well, you're not a doctor, okay? Neither is Sarah. Lisa is my daughter, too, goddammit. I haven't seen her in five months. Not about you. Everything is not about you. Don't start, Lindy. Lindy! You always get what you want. Makes you a great cop, but a rotten husband. might need these. Michelle in. She went to find Gabe Cooley. And you let her go? I don't let her do anything. Why the hell didn't you go with her? I gotta go, Andy. I'll make it up to you later, okay? Right? Screw you. I'll take you for a ride. Got a snowmobile? Come on. I don't think you'll fit in Jerry's freezer. How you doing? Cut me down. I warned you. No, I warned you. Cut me down now. You're a big girl. Do it yourself. Jerry's machine?
cool. Forget it. It's a write-off. We're in big trouble. You were driving. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Hey, where are you going? Home. Hey, TV! TV! Nothing. No proof. Assaulting a police officer. Uh, Assault with intent to resist arrest. Resisting a police officer. Sending traps likely to cause bodily harm. Where's Andy? I left him outside. You left him? Oh, come on, Lindy. He's 12 years old. Yeah, well, Peter saw him racing off into the woods on somebody else's snowmobile. You were supposed to be with them. That clown had my partner strung up in the woods. She could have froze to death. Yeah, well, so can Andy. You see my son? A snowmobile. What about Michelle? She's all right. She nailed him. Never doubted it for a moment. <laughs> I told you to stay away from the TV. Bye. No friends here, no friends in Waver. That kid's bad news. I told you are in a whole lot of trouble. I don't care. Andy, where have you been? By myself, but I'm getting good at it. Watch your mouth. You stole a snowmobile. We didn't steal it. We borrowed it. TV does it all the time. I don't care what TV does. You don't take anybody's anything. What is wrong with you? Go to hell, both of you. Why couldn't we stay in Vancouver? Why do you have to go mess everything up? Andy, we didn't mean to. You didn't tell me I'd lose my home. You didn't tell me I'd lose all my friends. You didn't tell me I'd lose my father. Andy. Get away from me! Andy! I said get away! Andy, stop it! Andy, stop it! It's gonna be a thing. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Well, I sure did complicate things. It wasn't you. I was just kidding myself. I just had a talk, and uh, there are some things that we need to talk about. You probably already figured it out by now. 
but we've decided to get a divorce. Will you still be my daddy? I'll always be your daddy, honey. Your mom and I just don't live together anymore. But we'll never stop loving you. And that's a promise. Can we ever come visit you again? You bet. What about you, Andy? Listen, I just wanted to thank you properly for finding my son. 